Okay. Now, did you get a notification that it's being recorded? Yes. Okay, good. Hey, everybody, it is Friday, December 3rd, a little after 12, almost 1230. I've got Alex Cheek with me here, and we're doing some experimenting with Zoom, which is basically teaching me things I don't know. Um, Alex and I are playing around with screen sharing, and I'm going to go ahead and try to share my screen while I'm recording. And that's pretty simply done. You click on screen and then share. Now, Alex, you're seeing my screen, correct? Correct. Okay, and you said you did get a pop-up saying this recorded, this is being recorded, correct? And it gave me an automated message saying recording in progress. As okay, well. good, good. That so audible message. Good, so now I'm gonna take this, excuse me, I'm gonna take this little test experiment one step further, and I'm gonna ask Alex to go ahead and just share his screen with me. So Alex, go ahead, share your screen. Oh, oh, nice. I like the butterfly or the moth. Another I'm not sure. That's another Microsoft theme wallpaper. That's pretty cool. So this confirmed what I thought was happening last night. Alex shared his screen with me, with my permission, of course, and it overrode me sharing my screen. So if you're teaching, if you're in a, if you're in a, let's say nine or 10 person. If you're the teacher, if you're the teacher and you're doing a PowerPoint, you want to make sure you have that setting for screen sharing in your in your Zoom account settings on the web set to host only, because otherwise anybody can override your screen share. Okay, so that's a web setting. That's not the little box setting. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Now I'm, I'm going to, this is going to be part three of this little test. I'm going to share my screen again. And to do that, in case you're not familiar, is you go down here to you scroll down to the bottom and you have all these options and you go share screen, screen, share. Now, Alex can see my screen. So it's not in this box of settings, right? It's on right. the web. Right. So is it's there anything in here? Let's see. Windows uh, scale, enable remote control of all, enable the remote control of all applicants. wonder what that does. That means that anybody that when you're sharing your screen, anybody can request remote control. Like I could go up here and request, if we had Sam or somebody else in here, they could go up here to view options and click on request remote control. Right, request it, but you don't have to request remote control. You can automatically kick me out by sharing your screen, correct? But yes, but in right. order for me to have control of your computer, like be able to click on your mouse and click on your start menu, I have to go up here to view options and then click on request remote control. Okay, so hang on, let me continue reading side by side, silence notification, share individual, share windows, stop sharing. Okay, so I'm gonna look on advanced and see what this is. Green border, accelerated hardware. Okay, so that's out of my league. So now what, what Alex is saying is, I need to go to my Zoom on the web, and it'll sign me in automatically. And now, where do I set this up in here, Alex? In settings? Um, yes. Okay. Hang on. No problem. Do you, are you logged in on the Zoom on the internet or are you using a local thing like I do? I'm not logged in at the current moment. I'm just using the app on the computer and I click on your link in my email and it okay, opens up. Okay, right, right. I, that's what I consider. App on my be, computer. Sure, that's what I consider to be local. Okay, cool. I'll go ahead. I, I'm on settings. Now I got everything, I got it checked where it says everyone will go in the waiting room, but nobody goes in the waiting room. They all go draw oh, because I don't have it checked here. You should just be able to scroll down on the on the right hand side where all them settings are. Scroll down until you see a uh, screen sharing. Okay, I'm scrolling down. It's a it's a little bit, it's a little far ways down. And if
Screen sharing. If, Who can if share? You in a, if you was in a, if you was a teacher doing like a PowerPoint or something, you would want to make sure you have that setting set to host only, both of those settings. Well, now I brought up my magnifier because I need to see this for sure. So screen sharing. Allow hosts and participants to share their screen or content during meetings. So who can share? Right now it's all participants, which I would like that. Now, who can start sharing when someone else is sharing? I see it says all participants. I want to make this host only. Yeah. You said that host and there, only. You go ahead. Like, so, so, so for your particular, if I, if I was a teacher at school, I would want to make both of those settings host only. But for your, but for your particular setup, I want to make the first option all participants so anybody can share their screen. But the second option, I want to make it host only so nobody can take over your screen. Right. So now I'm going to click save. Until you until you exit your screen share. Now, I'm going to ask Alex to do the same thing he did a while ago. I'm going to close this here and close that there. And then I can't make this full screen, I don't think. No. Um, that's crazy. I should be able to make this. Alex, go ahead and try to share your screen again. I'm curious as to see what would happen. Okay. You're fine. You're I, you're busy on your phone. I see that. That's fine. Hopefully, it's a job coming through. No, uh, I just got something to send to my uh, send to my mom. Now, can you pause the recording, or is it just? A one-time run type. Oh thing. yeah, down at the bottom there should be a pause button for you. Yeah, but I'm in full. Okay, so now, oh wait a minute, um, mute, stop video. There's uh, no, no, that's no, for the down, video down there on the right hand side of the screen share button, the green screen share button. Yes, there should be a pause button for the recording. Okay, now let's pause the screen share, but I don't have that capability. Um, so I've got. Are, so is your is your screen your screen share is not full screen, right? Right. So you're still seeing your test bar. So if you mouse over oh, the bottom, if you I, put your I, mouse, I found it. You have to go over to the, the bottom. You should have the options for Zoom, like mute video, mute, mute your microphone. No, I'll show you because it's. I'm going to show you the recording, but you go to more and you can pause. Now, did you get another notification at the yes. recording? Okay, well, because good. Because I'm not the host and you're the one in control of the meeting. Right. Okay, you can good. See all the, good. So, all the options that you're talking about, you can see, but I can't see because I'm not the host. You're right. right. So, um, I think I'm not going to upload this until after tonight's stream. Because I want to see if someone tries to share their screen, what happens. Now, what should happen is they can't do it. You can't share your screen right now, right? Right now, if I go in and click on share screen, right, it'll say that it'll say this. Yes, it will give me the option to share screen, but I'm not going to. But you did change that to host only on the web. Correct. So and I say what it. that means basically what that means is in order for that thing to take effect, you would have to see me in another wing. We would have to start another zoom. Another okay. zoom meeting. All right, we we can do that because I want to so you can go ahead, share your screen right now. Uh, I'm I'm curious. Because that setting that setting for screen sharing won't doesn't take effect until the next meeting starts. Makes it makes sense. Okay, so Alex's point was just made. He just took over my screen, which is fine. I, I'm, I'm good with that. I, I wanted him to do that. So we're good to go. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop the recording and I'm going to stop the screen sharing and I'm going to start a new Zoom session and we're going to try this again. So Alex, I'll talk to you in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop the recording. Sounds like I'm confused and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>